Well, one of the 23,000 Australians killed on the Western Front was Malcolm Knapp, a young farm worker from Boyup Brook. His family suffered more than most too. Both their sons killed in World War One. We're going to charge tonight and there are sure to be lots of us killed or wounded. But it's the time we've been waiting for and I don't dread it at all. Inside this 101-year-old leather-bound diary, an exhausted soldier's suffering comes to life. And I felt that he was uh, bearing his soul, really. And, um, and I could see the, the great man that he was in those few words, really. The diary belonged to Malcolm Knapp from Boyar Brook, and now his West Australian descendants want to share his story. In June 1915, like so many others, Malcolm set off from Fremantle for Gallipoli. By his side was his older brother and best friend Jack. Their mother's only sons, they thought they were headed to the adventure of a lifetime. Fine specimens of manhood was how they were described, yes. My, my grandmother, particularly Malcolm, she just said he was the outstanding member of the family. It's, it's tragic what they went through and just such a waste of of people that could have done so much. Malcolm survived Gallipoli, but Jack contracted typhoid fever. It wasn't until the 24-year-old had been transferred to the Western Front that he learned in a letter Jack had died. Captain McRae let me off parade all day. Went to the canal, stayed there till tea time. He was more concerned about how his mother was going to take the loss of Jack than his own feelings of, of loss. Malcolm's final struggle came in the Battle of Poziers, a site historians say is more densely sown with Australian sacrifice than any other place on earth. On July 28, 1916, while under fire from the Germans, the 24-year-old pencilled his final entry. It almost seems he knew what was about to happen. My dear mother's address, to which please send this book if I should not be spared, and she will thank the sender. Mrs Knapp, Northlands, Boyabrook, Western Australia. Malcolm Knapp was killed in action the following day. He was moving with two other men, one of whom was wounded, and uh, moving from shell hole to shell hole to get back to the lines. And uh, they made it through two craters, and then on the third, Malcolm just suddenly stood up and, and ran parallel to the German lines, and he was never seen again. Malcolm's diary is just one of dozens by WA diggers in World War I, but his scrawling cursive is simple, powerful and emotional. At times you read about uh, them getting used to the bombs and the, the explosions and they managed somehow to sleep through that but they couldn't sleep through uh, the body lice so that was the sort of thing and they were just hanging out for wash or fresh water. And his family are determined their personal story of great sacrifice will continue to live on through Malcolm's writing. It gave me a feeling of identity with people that I never met but who had, uh, I guess, sacrificed their lives for our, our way of life. It's important as a family that we keep hold on to all of this knowledge. It's something for me to pass down to my children and um, it's just part of our family history.